In this lesson, I'm going to be showing you how to create an SVG icon in Illustrator and adding it to your map in Madrid using a rule based style. Now, I'm going to create an icon for the train stations. So let's go to Illustrator. And the first thing I'll do is just drag a ruler out into the middle of the screen. And I'm just going to create a train icon using the pen tool. So I'm just click and drag. This is going to be the roof. side and just draw it like that and then I'm going to copy paste it in front and then just reflect it around the ruler so I've got a symmetrical just join these points up command J just to join them up and there we have a sort of basic shell of a train I'm just going to make it a bit deeper and now I'm going to draw in the windows using the rounded rectangle tool. So maybe something about that wide, maybe a bit deeper. And now I just want to uh, make the base wider. Just selecting the points at the bottom and I'm just going to scale them up so that the angles match the side of the train like so and now I just want to create two windows instead of having one so I'm just using the pen tool I'm just going to draw a line down the middle and then select the both items and then use Pathfinder to divide them so now I've got two windows I can click on the middle line and do this move the other one over Okay, so that's our windows, and now I'm just going to add in a pair of headlights. One there, and one there. Okay, so that's our train drawn. Now I just want to draw a train track. So using the rectangle tool, I'm just going to draw basically an H shape and then use the um, transform tool to distort it. So let's make a duplicate of that and copy it in front. Let's make it a little bit narrower. And basically I'm going to select these three and then unite them using the Unite tool in Pathfinder. So now I've got one shape. And now I'm just going to use the Distort tool. It's this free transform tool here. So basically I'm going to turn it into a great perspective with it. So by doing it like this. Okay, so that's our train track underneath. Now I'm just going to basically want the whole thing to be black with um, the only thing being white would be the headlights and the windows. So selecting the tracks and the body of the train, I'm just going to make them black. And there we have it, there's the icon. I just want to put it in a circle as our outside shape. Just going to have it as white fill and black stroke. And just send that to the back and a slightly thicker stroke. There we have it. Okay, so there's our icon. Now we need to get it into QGIS. So just select everything. So just literally dragging over the whole icon and then go to object, artboards, and then fit to selected art. And what that does is it crops your artboard. If you don't do that, then your SVG icon will be the size of your canvas. And you want to basically make it the same size as your um, artwork. But a little tip, just to make sure that it doesn't um, clip anything off the edge, is just to make your artboard a little bit bigger than your image. And to do that, just hit Shift and O, and that brings up your artboard. Make sure your registration point is in the center, not at one of the corners. And then just change the width, just to do a little bit more than it actually is. So this is 349 pixels wide, so I'm just going to change it to 355, 355. And you can see it just puts a little bit of white space around it. And now we're going to save that as an SVG. And I'm just going to save that in my icons folder have in my world master icons so I'm going to save that in there 
SVG 1.1, okay that. Now back to QGIS. So what we want to do now is add in a point layer and um, bring in our SVG icon. So let's go to the Madrid OSM file and you want the point shape file. So let's load that one in. And it's basically going to cover your map in thousands of points. So the only ones we're interested in are the train stations. So as before with Natural Earth, we just need to create a wall based style. So double click on your point layer and go to style and you want a wall based style. Double click on that and you want to have an SVG marker. So click on simple marker here and change that to SVG marker. Okay, so to bring your icon in, you click on these three dots here. Navigate to your icon folder and bring in your train. So as you can see, there's the train icon there. It's a little bit small. So let's try eight pixels. Yep, that looks better. So let's okay that. Oh, first of all, we've got to create a rule, silly me. So fields and values, and we're looking for the railway column heading. So double click on railway and equals, click on all unique values here and you want station. So double click on station. So railway equals station for this icon only. So we'll apply that. And you'll see now it's added in the icons for all the train stations on your map. Now it's very simple. You can obviously go in and do as many icons as you want for all of the different types of points. But this is just to show you quickly how to create an icon in Illustrator and add it into your OpenStreetMap.